Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to restore this old Tomica Volkswagen Beetle. First let me show you some of my other VW bugs from different brands. So we have this old Corgi, then we have this Majorette which is one of my most favorite castings with the Beetle design. And this Welly VW Beetle is one casting that I'm using quite a lot on my custom builds. For some reason this one is my least favorite of all the Beetle castings that I have. I have some problems with the headlights, they are not even close to a real VW Bug design. As a matter of fact, I think that I prefer this tuned version of Hot Wheels. And I also like this one, which is kind of a chopped bug. Now, moving back to the welly bug. You can see behind it, it is the same casting, but it is heavily customized. You can see the headlights are different and also the ride height has been changed quite a bit. Now, if you'd ask me what is my most favorite custom beetle that I've made, I think it is going to be this one, the black one, because of the um, headlights. I think they are just perfect. I wish this bug had the split window at the back because I prefer that version instead of this one. Um, I don't know who makes this version of the Beetle and I wish I would find something like that. Now here's another creation that I've made from this welly bug and it is this Baja Beetle. Um, you can see it is heavily modified as well. I've trimmed the fenders, I've removed the engine cover and I've created this cradle at the back and inside it there's an engine of course. And if you'd ask me what is my most favorite Beetles from all the models I've showed you today, I think this one is the best because of the shape which I prefer over the rest. Now let's go back and take a look at all the different models I've showed you today and you can see that each one of these brands has its own design for this Beetle. Now tell me which one of them do you prefer? I would like to know that. Let's have a look at this Tomica right now. As you see it is a well played car I think it is about 30 years old and maybe more. I don't like the police design though. I prefer this car to be without the beacon on the roof. As all other brands from this era, the base is also made of metal. And you can see that the paint is chipped all the way around. And the axles are already bent. So I will have to replace the wheels of course. The license plate also is damaged and I want to see if I can do something with it. The rivet is very small. I don't think that I will be able to tap such a small rivet, but I'm going to try that anyhow. Here's a little bit of comparison between a Hot Wheels rivet and this Tomica rivet. And you can see that it is very small rivet. I was very lucky to find this car without any damage in its uh, clear plastic part and of course no cracks. I'm going to replace the wheels now. I'm trying to use the same wheels. I have these pair of wheels I have taken from another Tomica car but I think I have to shorten the axle a little bit. Now I see that I'm going to have some difficulties with this axle because at some point Tomica changed the uh, axle's diameter. You can see that this one is a very thick axle in comparison to the old one. So I'm not able to use this one.
Since I'm not going to bring this car back to its original state, I thought that maybe I could use different wheels for this restoration. Here you can see it is very clear that the left wheel's axle is larger in diameter. I thought I could experiment with other wheels. Now you can see at the back I've changed the wheels to this welly set. And here I have this plastic one. It is very old wheel I've taken from an old truck. And I think that I prefer this black one instead of the chrome wheels at the back. Now I'm going to try and fix this issue with this license plate at the front. I'm trying to use direct flame in order to try and soften the metal a little bit before I will uh, bend this license plate back to its original position. Finally, after the attempt, the license plate gave up and broke from this base. It was a very tragic moment for me, but then I thought about a solution. Maybe I could use this plastic bumper and attach it right here to this base. I have so many of them leftovers. Whenever I'm creating a Baja Beetle, I have this part uh, left from the welly casting, so I think that I can reuse this part this time. Now you may tell me that this creation right now is not a restoration anymore since I'm using a part I've taken from another brand. So excuse me for that, but maybe we will change this um, build today to a customization. 
And it doesn't matter for me because I'm going to add this card to my collection and it will be displayed with great proud. Now I'm going to do the same for the back because I want to have similar bumpers front and back. So I have to do the same process up here at the back. The next step is to put the wheels in their new place. I want to achieve a certain looks for this car and it is the older version of this Beetle. So I'm going to put the wheels in a position um, which will give this car that older model looks. I'm using tiny beads right now in order to find the correct position of each tire. I want to achieve that older looks for this beetle, so I'm trying different positions by adding or taking off beads if needed. I think that the correct position is adding one bead from each side and then the tire itself. The final bead will be the one that will lock the axle in place. I'm putting a tiny bit of super glue drop and then I'm adding the bead and afterwards I will cut the axle and trim it until it will be as small as I can. Now I'm trying to solve this problem, I've accidentally drilled a larger hole instead of a small one. So I'm filling the gap right now with this tiny insert.
Now it is time to check the performance of this car and see how it rolls. As you see, the suspension is responsive and soft. And the car is very smooth. It is very fast. Now I'm going to seal the hole in the roof. I'm not going to put that beacon at the top because I don't want this car to be a police car anymore. Now let's have a look at the freshly painted body. I've decided to go with this baby blue and I've also detailed the headlights and painted the bumpers with silver. I wanted the bumpers to be painted as same as the base. I didn't want the chrome finish for the bumpers because I wanted to keep the same tint as the base itself. Now I can see at the back I've detailed the taillights. I didn't want to leave them without any color. And I think it gives this car a more realistic look. There are also some small details like uh, painted door handles and also you have the air scoops at the back painted in black. Okay then guys, that is that for today. I hope you enjoyed this restoration video today. I can call it restoration because it is kind of a saving that I've made for this car. So, it is a restoration with a little bit of customization. And I think it is looking way better than how this car used to look. And that is the bottom line for this car. So, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.